All right, you want to know what, I, some words I can't say on YouTube, what a world of jokers, of harlequins we live in. The Proud Boys, these guys have been in the news, and they're just a bunch of goofballs. Um, this is the wiki article. It has a bunch of very not nice things to say about them. Affiliated with um, <clears throat> people who think they're better than other people. A plot twist, of course they don't. Uh, the leader, well, the founder is uh, the guy started Vice, uh, Gavin something, who's a, a gay comedian. Uh, and the current leader is Enrique Tarrio, who is a, uh, a Cuban with very black skin because he's a black man. He's the leader of the, um, the far-right neo-fascist organization. When these people type this stuff, it kills them to type in Enrico Torrio's name. And one of the other famous characters in it is this 350-pound guy. I don't know where he's from. One of the Pacific Islanders. And uh, if you say the wrong island, they uh, get super pissed. So I'm, I'm, he's somewhere down there. Um, it's not a it's not a a group by of any kind of like purity test based on skin color. This is nonsense. When they sit down and write this stuff, do they do they hear themselves? I mean, do they have any self-respect? No, because if they did, you wouldn't get articles like this. Why young men of color are joining, uh, I'll call those Taco Supreme groups. Patriot Prayer's leader is half Japanese. Black and brown faces march with the Proud Boys. Is the future of hate multicultural? And you've got black fists with uh, Asian and brown and Latino and white and yeah, fists. You know, if you're marching with people who are multicolored, maybe you're not the bad guys. Or maybe at least you're not the what they're accusing you of. That you're taco supremacists. He was one of dozens of black, Latino, and Asian men who marched alongside of the uh, Taco Supreme. But then, then they're clearly not what you're calling them. You, f ab you absolute twat waffles. You absolute morons. How are they this and this? How do you include these these words in the sentence together? You absolute. Developmentally Disabled Bundles of Sticks. Okay, another Developmentally Disabled Bundles of Sticks is this woman right here, except the only thing going for her is something that is going on underneath that sweater. What is, what do you have under there? I see the strain, and even though it's a dark color sweater, and you're trying to conceal it, well, I guess you're not trying to conceal it that well. Damn, girl. Damn, what is... Show those puppies off. Turn, uh, turn a little bit. Rotate a little bit. Give us a, give us a view. You've got them. Show them off. Um, uh, tiny, tiny ways, too. Um, and big ass. Uh, I'm sure people will go for her. Anyway, DC Comics' new gods director, Ava DuVernay, attacks President Trump as a taco supreme while hoping he recovers from um, the Wu flu F China. Taco Supreme, really, Trump. He married two immigrants, and he actually dated a black girl. I didn't know that. Someone was passing around a photo from, I guess, the 90s where he dated this black model. Um, it was interesting to see. <laughs> like, how do these people take themselves seriously? I I'm guessing they're sitting at home. I don't know. What is it? This, what kind of drugs soy boys do? Probably drinking wine and taking benzos, which is a uh, actually like a suicidal combination. But I think they're they're there at that uh, at point where they just don't give a rat's ass anymore. She claims that Trump cost hundreds of thousands their lives. Don't you mean Wuhan cost hundreds of thousands of lives by lying about it? Don't you mean Nancy Pelosi and AOC when they said Nancy Pelosi was walking through Chinatown? She didn't go actually in the restaurants. She was walking through Chinatown and she was telling people, come to Chinatown. Come to the restaurants. Eat in Chinatown. It's safe. Did that get memory hold? AOC was giving uh, her little, she does these little, gosh, she's, she's cute, but she's kind of retarded, uh, d developmentally disabled. She was giving these uh, Instagram speeches where she's calling people istophobic for not going to Chinatown, but she was given the speeches from her apartment. So, uh, oh, and then what happens a week later? Oh, you need to go to ma wear masks and uh, avoid Chinatown. Okay. 
But it's it's Trump's fault for uh, yeeting hundreds of thousands of people. No, it's not. No, it's not, you idiot. This isn't the first time that this idiot described Trump as a taco supreme. She tweeted, for those that haven't been listening for the past four years, Trump just told you that he ain't leaving. I hate it when they do that folksy, down-home talk. And that he is a taco supreme. If then, you know, it's like, if she talked, I would just be staring at them titties. I'd just be like, damn. Damn. Those things are huge. Doesn't get every American who is um, not a fair-skinned, beautiful person of the light into overdrive to toss his ass. We may actually deserve what happens next. Except nothing has happened in the past four years except the great economy and pretty decent recovery from Obama's wreckage. What's happened? Have we opened camps? Have we started warming up the trains and sending people to the happy camps? No, none of that has happened and none of that will happen. You people are sick. You need help. Keep, keep, uh, keep mixing benzos and alcohol and see what happens. Don't do that. That's a way to kill yourself. Um, she called them a taco supreme. The director actually herself advocating for the discrimination of people based on their skin color and gender. Wow. Surprising. Shocking. Independence Day, she wrote, uh, if you didn't watch it, uh, if you care about black lives like these numbers suggest, realize that the next assaults will be probably by black people, statistically. You thought it was bad now. Um, in June, she threatened not to hire white men. She wrote on Twitter, everyone has a right to their opinion, and we, black producers with hiring power, have the right to not hire those who diminish us. So, this has come full circle where it turns out what we knew all along, that these people are actually the istophobes. She added, so, to the white men in this thread, if you don't get that job you up for, kindly remember, bias can go both ways. This is 2020 speaking. Avi DuVernay. The ultimate black privilege is being able to say that and not get canceled for it. That's insane. That is, on the face of it, um... Probably illegal. Her comments came after a number of people point out that hiring based on skin color is against the law. Yes, title something something, United States Code. She's also an advocate for defunding the police. Go ahead. Go ahead. See what happens, you idiot. Defunding police means defunding armed responses to issues that don't need a gun. Liberty device. Building healthier, more humane responses instead. Are you going to volunteer? I, su I suspect you're not going to volunteer for any of these things. If you want to defund Chicago's police department or um, New Orleans or all those other um, diverse, culturally enriched cities, go ahead. See what happens. You know what will happen. Police, San Francisco officers will stop responding to disputes between neighbors, reports about homeless people, and school discipline interventions. Great. Well, that means people will have to handle it themselves, which is just fine. She will direct New Gods with a script she is allegedly working on with former Batman writer. Uh, the guy who's... There's not enough Prozac in the world to help. Also going to direct a bunch of other crap. I was going to go to comments, but they're not loading. Basically, they, they mentioned that it's um, something that they're not going to purchase anyway because everything that these people do fails horribly i mean there's a there's like a half dozen movies that have just absolutely bombed and you talk about comics uh we don't know what the sales are because they're digital i'm sure they're fantastic you're selling something for it out for four dollars digitally that the only reason the soy boys like the bug bug men who buy those comics they buy the thing itself they buy the thing to have on their shelf the actual physical rest, the actual object, the thing in and of itself. They're not buying the story. In fact, most of the times, they, they do little more than flip through it. They're buying it for the cover art. They're buying it to have it as a collection. These guys, they do these like late night comic book uh, stuff. They never actually open the comic. They're just talking about the fantastic covers and the artists and who's on it. They don't give a rat's ass about the story because the story's... Developmentally disabled. Those titties are not developmentally disabled. Those are pretty, pretty damn awesome. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, guys. I'll see you on the next episode.